Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Imagine living your whole life on a space shuttle, knowing your grandchildren will inhabit a new planet. That's the premise behind the new movie Voyagers. It's now in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. The year is 2063, and scientists have found a new planet to support human life after Earth becomes inhabitable. There's no going back for the astronauts on board. The mission is to raise children and their future grandchildren in confinement to educate and train them to be scientists. There's a group of 20-somethings on board under the leadership of Richard, played by Colin Farrell. Christopher and Zach, played by Ty Sheridan and Fionn Whitehead, begin to suspect that Richard has been lying to them. Their suspicion grows, leading to chaos, anarchy, and disorder aboard the spaceship. Voyagers is written and directed by Neil Berger, whose previous films include The Illusionist and Divergent. And this film feels in line with Divergent, with that dystopian YA approach. The film comes with an intriguing premise, as you ponder uh, how growing up in a contained, controlled space shuttle would affect your development, personality, and trust in others, all while floating around in space where there's nowhere to escape. There's a major plot twist that comes around the 30-minute marker that then veers this story into a Lord of the Fly-style standoff, polarizing everyone on board. The infighting between the groups gets dark and sinister, pitting Christopher and Zack against each other, with Zack leading the angry rebellion against Christopher's group, who seemingly wants uh, peace and order. Writer-director Neil Berger makes this more of a character study instead of a film about space exploration. He examines how new fractions are formed and shaped under stress. Berger presents an interesting concept with this angle of young 20-somethings alone in space. And I was on board this mission for the first half, and it really just felt like he abandoned his high concepts for a duel between sides. The evil team Zack versus the wholesome team Christopher running through hallways and hiding in tight spaces. There's a desperation for power and control, and Fionn Whitehead uh, plays Zack like the stark, raving, mad villain that he is. In general, Berger doesn't write these characters with a lot of depth, which means that Lily Rose Depp and Ty Sheridan are not given a lot to show off their range or personalities. Even Colin Farrell seems to be used more for his star power and leadership qualities to then carry his scenes. It's hard to tell if Neil Berger bit off more than he could chew, so he then he just steered this in an easier direction, or if the marketing materials make it edgier and sexier than it actually is. I'm giving Voyagers 2 out of 5 ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I got some other movie reviews uh, for movies like Godzilla vs. Kong. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Voyagers. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.